Yeah, my name is Martin Osis and I'm the president of the Alberta Mycological Society and we're interested in all things fungal, whether it's delicious edible mushrooms or medicinal mushrooms or the ecology of mushrooms or the role that mushrooms play in, in remediating pollutants and things like that in our environment. Mushrooms play an incredibly important role. Today we're going out for a morel count. It's kind of, you've probably heard that the birders go out in the fall, in the, around Christmas and do a and do a, um, a bird count. What we're doing for the first time is doing a survey for of morels and other spring mushrooms at the same time in the city of Edmonton. So it opens like this and usually this splits and it opens like and that's what it opens like a star and then inside you've got the puffball which puffs the spores. Oh, so this is a so, very delicious edible mushroom. This is what we say equivalent of what we find in grocery stores called the portobello. These mushrooms are characterized by the gills. When we look at portobellas they're a little bit older and the spores in portobellas are dark brown and here they're just starting to turn brown and that's why we have that little bit of a pinkish hue if Rob would have left this for another day or so then it would be deep brown 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 like chocolate brown and that's one of the ways we tell them apart also when you start looking at mushrooms the things you always look at is how the gills come into the stalk and in this case if we look closely the gills actually are free from the stalk. Didn't have a lot of fleshy mushrooms, but lots of medicinals and a lot of mushrooms called polypores. Polypores are called polypores because they have pores on the bottom instead of gills or other things that we see in mushrooms. And a lot of these have strong medicinal characters. The most exciting one, which is a little more rare growing on birch, we can see the birch bark, is this one called shaga. And here the active ingredient is, is, is this material and the Siberians used to use this for treatment of cancers. And actually if you read Alexander Solzhenitsyn's cancer ward and stuff like that, they're always referring to this, you know, that, that there are those special things that you can find in the woods and this is the mushroom that they were talking about.